The Rafale Marine fighter jet is expected to reach India very shortly, and it will be subjected to intensive tests for the next two weeks from the land-based test facility at the INS Hansa base in Goa, that will include checking its ability to take off from a 283-meter-long flight deck such as that of INS Vikrant aircraft carrier, and also to see if its dimensions are compatible with the elevators installed on board the carrier. According to a study cited by a French publication, the Rafale Marine can take off from an aircraft carrier in Stobar configuration without any modification of structure. The F-A-18 Super Hornet will be evaluated by the Indian Navy under similar conditions from March, but the Boeing aircraft is going through a bad commercial period, with failures in Switzerland, Finland and Canada, which is sure to have consequences for the entire world at the industrial level. There is a possibility that if the Rafale M tests are successful, then the Indian Navy could lease five units from France, so that the new aircraft carrier is made operational as soon as possible. We had reported yesterday that the DRDO Larsen and 2 Brulite tank will be using the chassis of the DRDO's future ready main battle tank, and a German MTUK A500 V8 1000 horsepower engine has been selected as the power plant for the light tank. Larsen and Tubro has cleared the techno-commercial evaluation stage for the development of assembly test chassis and its related subsystems. As per latest reports, a bid has also been floated for the supply of a front and uncooled thermal imaging site module weighing less than 6 kg, and a rear uncooled thermal imaging site module weighing less than 3 kg, a binocular display module weighing less than 3 kg, and various other systems for the light tank, and these systems will have to be delivered in the next two years, and the first prototype of the 35-ton indigenous light tank will be ready for trials by early 2023. After the frontline soldiers of the Indian Army, the Special Operation Group of JNK Police will soon get the American SIG Sierra assault rifles and submachine guns for counter-terror operations. The JNK Police has floated global bids for purchasing 500 SIG 716 rifles and 100 SIG MPX 9mm submachine guns. The Indian Air Force has recently placed fresh orders for the 1,000 kg version of the French Hammer medium-range air-to-ground weapon, and latest reports indicate that the integration work of the Hammer on the Tejas aircraft will be done in the coming months, and the trial of the Hammer from the Tejas aircraft will take place by end of 2022. The integration of the 200 km range Rudram-1 anti-radiation missile on the Tejas Mark I aircraft is also underway, and the ASRAM will also be tested on Tejas aircraft in the coming months, that will come as a boost to the combat capabilities. The Indian Army Chief visited the facility of DRDO's Armament and Combat Engineering, and he was briefed about the readiness of ATAG's Joint Venture Protective Carbine, ammunition for a June main battle tank, unmanned ground vehicles and high-energetic material space tactical weapons. The private sector firm SSS Defence has emerged as the lowest bidder to supply 18,000 numbers of 9x19 NATO ammunition to DRDO's armament research and development establishment at a cost of 4.5 lakh rupees. The Kalyani Group will start limited series production of 25 units of 9x19 Ashmi gun, that will be used for user trials by the Indian Army. The project Cheetah to integrate missiles on the Heron unmanned aerial vehicles has now been placed before the Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister Modi. The weaponization program of the Heron drones will see integration of four rare to ground missiles, and improved satellite communication capability, and will give the capability to strike targets even 200 kilometers inside enemy territory. The Indian Navy is getting ready to host the Milan 2022, which is the largest ever multilateral exercise, which has been scheduled for the end of February 2022. 
More than 40 plus navies from across the globe will participate in this exercise, including the members of Quad Group and AUKUS Alliance, and the drills will focus on increasing interoperability and ensuring freedom of navigation. Oh, my God.